don't know that I made a decision to become an artist. I grew up with a man who was an artist and I could never do the same things that he did, so I just didn't think that that was gonna be for me. I think over time I realized that I was an artist and I think other people realized I was an artist before I did. I was always making art. I never didn't make art. In my memory of my entire life, I was always making art. And then there just became a time in my life where I knew it was the only thing that I wanted to do, that I would do, be able to have enough passion to work as hard as I knew I needed to work at something. And so that was the thing that I was willing to put that much effort and that much focus in my life into and make it the center of my life. And that happened somewhere in my early to mid 20s where it became the thing that I was gonna do above all other things. I was just starting to experiment with little glass beads. It was just the latest thing that I'd gotten and I was, I'd seen some Native American work and I was trying to sew some beads onto fabric in a very flat pattern and that didn't work at all. It was harder than I thought it was gonna be. So I started piling beads on top of beads and making this really textural work and it wasn't anything like what I set out to make, but I was, I, I kinda got excited about it. So at about 27, I went back to college and got a degree in apparel design because I thought, I was still thinking, well, beads is fashion related. So I thought that's what it would be. By the time I got my degree, I was already going more into art. You know, it was independent of fashion and was making more sculptural things. And it just took off a life of its own and I started discovering things and I've never stopped discovering things and it's never stopped holding my interest and I've never stopped seeing the next thing and the next thing after that. And it's continued to hold my interest. So that is, uh, that is a gift. Why beads? And I don't know if I have a really good answer for that other than I have always been compelled towards minutia and bringing little bits of things together, whether they're rocks or beads or a collection of matchbook covers or wishbones or enough of anything is interesting. And so I collect things and I rearrange things and I make order out of chaos and then I get excited about that. To me, beads are a meditative process. They're an anecdote to the rest of society. Society is much about automation. It's much about hurry up. It's much about, you know, what can we do faster, quicker, better, more efficiently. There's no way to impose those things on beadwork. So they are kind of this throwback thing where you have to stop and slowly, methodically create something and uh, pay attention to each bit. What it's done for my life is it's given my life richness. It's given my life this cast of characters that is amazing. It's given me experiences that I never would have had. And I feel like I have been able to contribute something to the conversation of what it means to be human by exploring the very edge of one tiny and peculiar little thing that humans can do. And I think the reason we make art is to find out what's at the edge of human potential. And that's what I'm trying to do is what, what lives at the edge of potential for this little thing that I do.